Neighbors of this sinkhole will finally get what they want, a visit from the governor and maybe more. Good evening. Next week, the governor goes to Bayou Corn after failing to visit since the sinkhole formed last August. Today, he met with leaders from Assumption Parish about their concerns. News 2's Mike Steele was at the governor's mansion to find out what happens next. In addition to the Bayou Corn visit, the governor will meet with Texas Brine Company officials Wednesday. They own the underground cavern believed to be the cause of the sinkhole. Today's meeting at the governor's mansion was closed to the media. We saw parish leaders and most state agency heads going in early this afternoon. Most say it was productive, including Assumption Parish President Marty Trish. Uh, the governor said and committed to us that he will be reaching out to Texas Brian owners to hopefully get a meeting within the next week or so uh, to discuss specifically buyouts. But him to come out to see the, the, the area, the residents affected, the Highway 70 issues uh, will be instrumental. Now, Assumption Parish leaders say buyouts are the only good option at this point as they examine potential problems with a second salt dome cavern in the same area. State transportation officials say they are closely monitoring conditions on Highway 70 and looking at potential detour routes. We'll have more on that coming up tonight on News 2 at 6. Mike Steele, WBRZ, Balance News. Thank you, Mike. Now, a week from tomorrow, neighbors will be briefed on the latest information at the Assumption Parish Community Center in Napoleonville. That's at 6 p.m. And we want to make a correction and clarification concerning a live report on Friday's 5 p.m. newscast. During that report, we said there was a real possibility a second sinkhole is on the verge of collapsing. That is incorrect. We should have said there is concern about a second cavern near the sinkhole. Right now, there is agreement from Texas Brine and the state that a second sinkhole is an unlikely possibility. We also said a person identified as a Texas Brine representative was concerned that a road near the sinkhole site was sinking and bulging and while that person works in the area texas brine's official spokesman sonny crench says the statements about the road are totally inadequate inaccurate crench says any bulging or shrinking if there is any is not unusual because numerous work trucks have been hauling thousands of pounds of dirt and other materials to form a berm around the sinkhole we will now travel to the sinkhole to get a first-hand look at the area and the people affected there the governor made his plans known in a statement released shortly after he held a closed-door meeting with officials from Assumption Parish. The governor dodged questions last week and refused to answer them in person today. A lot of the officials and leaders dealing with the massive sinkhole traveled to the governor and the mansion to voice their concerns. The governor will also meet with Texas Bryan, the company accused of causing the mess has disrupted hundreds of lives. The Assumption Parish Police Jury President, Marty Trish, a man who's in charge of day-to-day -day operations for the parish, he says buyouts are needed and they need to happen now. These residents are hurting. Uh, they are in a bad problem. Uh, a lot of them want to move on with their lives. So we think that buyouts is, is a reasonable thing that Texas Brian needs to do. It's not too much to ask. Now, coming up at 6, we'll tell you more about what was discussed at the meeting and hear what parish officials have to say about Governor Jindal finally making a trip to the sinkhole. Is it too late? Too little? We'll see you at 6 for that.